Hey everyone, my name is Baron. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be redoing the how to remove the M17 filtering element video. Last one was god awful. Well, let me check the specs of the video. We're good, okay. But, like I said, the last one was god awful. The lighting was terrible. I was a major piece of shit in that video. I'm kidding. I was a piece of shit. Um, but we're going to redo that. I'm going to be a little more helpful, a little more knowledgeable on this subject. I wasn't absolutely uh, insane about the M17 at the time. So let's get started. Let's teach about how to remove the M13, M13A1, or M13A2 filtering elements in the M17 for protective mask. Let's get started. So what I like to do to uh, remove the filtering elements on an M17 when I get it in the mail is I like to take the mask, of course. Let me remove the packing paper, of course. I don't really like to keep a lot of packing paper in the M17 masks. Okay, first we're going to, of course, this isn't, of course, this is just what I like to do. I like to remove the valve cover. I don't know why, it just seems like it aids in removing the filters for some, for some reason. I don't know why. I just like to remove the valve cover. Um, first off, we're going to remove the filter caps if we can. Maybe not. These are called C20 filter caps, by the way. Oh, I, I, there's no inlet disc in this one. Uh, I like to keep them off to the side. They're called C20, by the way. I don't know if you heard me before I popped it off. There we go. A little forceful on that one. If you can't get them off, what I suggest is very carefully covering the top of a flathead screwdriver with a piece of fabric or something, getting under the cap a little bit, and then prying it off, um, pry, pry, not prying it off like carefully, and just trying to like just pop it off. Or what you could do is do what sometimes I do. Let's actually get the harness off of this mask really quickly because that aids in, actually, you know what? I never actually thought of this for some reason. Hold on. This would actually be a lot smarter than what I usually do. Keep the harness on. Man, it's hot in here. Um, and take it, pull it over the mask, and then pull it over this whole section right here. Actually, you know what? Get it to where it's not messing up the bottom straps buckles and stuff like that pull it over to where it's under these little buttons for the outlet cover then you have the mask opened all the way for ease of removing the filters then what you want to do i'm trying to get it in on screen right now you want to remove the oral nizzle cup from the little uh pegs right here to where there it's completely free right here and you would like to you need to remove this these little flaps from the pegs hopefully i'm teaching people nicely and not being absolutely retarded with this remove them on each side then you have it free and then you want to take this bottom area right here where my thumb's at you want to pull it up and then you want to pull this out Get your fingers under here. I'm sorry, I'm not in a very good position to do this right now. You need to pull the filter out a little bit. Be careful because on some certain M17s, it rips really bad, like right here. It's on like earlier Firestone masks and earlier MSA masks because their uh, molds weren't really perfected at the time. So, and also copper poisoning and dry rot can have a very big impact on stuff like that. So right here is really where the uh, ripping does happen quite a lot. So you want to take this and if you don't really have the ability to take the filter caps out, it's actually really easy to just push on this little area right here. Let me get the flash on. It's really easy to just push on the little area right here where the filter is outside of the mask. You can push that on that and then the filter cap will come off. It'll like fly off the mask. Let me take the flash off really quickly. Don't need that. And then you can just safely pull the filtering element out. 
try not to like push it against this because that will cause a rip as well and then here you have one filtering element out this is a march of 1965 m13 filter by msa see the black ring right here and then i just put it off to the side i don't really need to keep it separate like the filter caps because i like to keep the filter caps from the left one and the right one facing me so this often will go on the left and the right one will go on the right i like to keep it like that because i am autistic like that and then you have just a free m17 without the filter on that side do the same for the other side let me do it it's gonna be a little forceful with this one because this mask is devoid of any dry rot or copper poisoning then you have both filters out here's the mask without any filters then you can clean it any way you would like to the uh, orange as a cup is actually a lot less uh, flimsy than on other masks this has a 1965 orange cup and then you can just clean it anyway you want to be careful with that and stuff if you have a missing button there's actually a site that sells these buttons i think it's a mega militaria they're from the uk but they do sell these little buttons for like seven dollars that's pretty expensive but there's nowhere else to find the buttons unless you find a trashed m17 you can just cannibalize it from but yeah there we go you have the m17 filters out they're um either the m13s m13a1s or m13a2s the m13a2s have green filter element uh hold on here's a m13 a2 filter from a uh training 1963 dt mask december of 1978 by msa where's okay m13 a2 the regular m13s don't really have m13 on it it would just say all that and nothing else but yeah it's nearly the exact same thing but it has gray um out outer layers the mesh is quite different, the interior is different a little bit, and the uh, connector rings are much different, of course. The M13A1s actually do have black filter, ring, filter uh, connectors, but that's for the earlier ones. Or actually, it's, yeah, that's for the, the earlier ones, yeah. The later ones would be a gold connector ring. But yeah, then you would have the, of course, M13A2s, which would have the olive green, and then you would just stop having M17s, you would have the C2 canisters. Next up, we're going to try to put these back in. Not try, we're going to put these back in. I'm actually going to stand up for this. I'm not going to really do any dialogue, so I apologize for that. But it's going to be much easier for me to get these back in without sitting down and putting my arms out here. So I'm going to stand up and try to get this on frame. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. I'm just going to sit down and try to get these back in. That side, okay. Let's pull this. I usually do it like really close to my body. So this is going to be quite difficult. Put it in front of the orange or nasal cup and then push the orange nasal cup out of the way. Push it under the lip of the orange nasal cup. Get your finger down there. Pull that little lip up right there. Have that in there. Pull that around. This is a god awful video. I can already tell. I heavily apologize. And then do the exact same thing for this side. Pull the orange nasal cup out, pull this chin down, push this in there, put it in front of the orange nasal cup right there, as you can see, it's in front of the orange nasal cup. Actually, I did that wrong, hold on, sorry. God, I, I can't do this when I'm so far away. Okay, push the orange nasal cup out of the way, push it in, pull that lip up. And then you have the M13, A, M13 filtering elements inside the mask again. Pull this back over. Actually, you know what? Hold on. These are still not in, so I gotta... I'm, I messed up in that. Hold on. This is a god-awful video. It's really difficult doing this without a decent setup, so I apologize heavily about that. And then you want to put these in. Uh, because uh, sometimes you would have M17s that have misaligned uh, buttons or misaligned holes right here. So you got to kind of push your fingers in like that. And you got to press these in right here. And then pull the actual orange cup back out so that this little chin rest is sitting right here on this chin area. The extra small M17A2s actually have an extra lip right here. Extra peripheral seal so that this is uh, sitting under it instead of over it like that. You need to pull this over, 
and then you need to stretch the rubber around that, clip that back in, do the same on this side, pull that over, there's a hair in there, and then do that, and then put that in. And then, that's in, okay. Then you have a completely reassembled M17 mask. Then pull the harness back over. Uh, and then you wanna put the filter caps back on. Top, if it says top, that's uh, go like that, on top. On the Czech M10, actually, it, I don't know, on the uh, Polish MP4, it has a red dot instead of top. Either the Czech M10 or the Polish MP4. I believe it's the MP4. Yeah, I cleaned the MP4 and it had a red dot on the top of the filter caps to sig signify which way you would put it. And there we go. That was way worse than I thought it would be because I don't have a correct setup to actually do informational videos like this. And plus, it's insanely hot in my room. It feels like I am in hell. Looking up at heaven. Come on, get on there. Put your fingers in there, pull it down. Push these in. What just fell out? A piece of rubber. Interesting. Not sure why a piece of rubber fell out. This thing is in good condition. Then you want to put your thumbs like around here and just... Uh, I like to press down on it to get that little rubber area down under the little area right here, little voice membrane, the voice emitter. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then you gotta just use your thumbnail to get that in there. Creates a lot of uh, bloom for some reason. There we go. Hopefully that aided some people in putting the filters back into an M17. Probably not a lot of people because of the, how bad the production quality of this video was. I don't have a lot of uh, decent skills with making videos. I just like to do it because I like pissing people off and making informational videos sometimes. That's about it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. Um, this has been Baron from Baron's Military Masks, and I'll see you guys later. Later.